Hello and welcome to Let's Go Eat, the Herald Leaders podcast about eating and drinking in the bluegrass. I'm Janet Patton and I cover food, bourbon, and craft beer. I'm Cheryl Truman. I cover features and business. And I'm Sally Shear and I'm a lifestyles and business editor. We are here today at La Petite de la Cave, which is this beautiful the way you said that. <laughs> little shop in Chevy Chase on South Ashland that has the most beautiful little delicate cookies, macaron. Correct. And they're they're not macaroons, Janet. totally yes. different cookie. We're all going to say macaron. 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 We're talking with owner Sylviana Heron about her cookies and all the wonderful treats she makes. Um, Such as these wonderful teas. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's delicious. It's snowing. Tea. We're sitting yes, here drinking mm. peaches and cream tea. And I, I have to say, if I could just sit and inhale this all day. Yes. I'm wonderful. We're, get, we're getting our aromatherapy, aren't we? Yes. 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 I'm here with Sylviana Heron, who is the owner of La Petite Delica, and tell me about your cookies. Well, this is French macarons, and they are made of almond flowers, egg white, and sugar, so they are actually naturally gluten-free. Though our uh, facility is not gluten-free um, certified, but they are because they are made of almond flour, so they are gluten-free. Oh, perfect. So it's um, all of these macarons is made of the same ingredients, but the fillings is what make them, you know, the name for the pecan bourbon, peaches and cream, they have all different fillings. Well, they're beautiful. They really Thank look you. lovely. When did the store open? The store opened, a grand opening was on December the 19th. Yeah, have you had a lot of business over Christmas? Oh, yes. Yeah, we, we were really busy. We sold out almost every day on, up to that the Christmas, and, um, but yeah, it was a great business. And you, but you've been around a while. You had sold your 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 things at the uh, farmers market too, right? Yeah, yeah. Kind of built up a business and yeah. a following. Yes, um, I actually started this business online on Etsy. Mm -hmm. That's how I started in two thousand at the end of two thousand twelve. And then I went to the Kentucky Food Show in 2013. That's how I met Good Foods Co-op. I sell it too at the Good Foods Co-op, and I met. Um, 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 people from farmers market and start selling at farmers markets um, for two years now and after that I you know I decided to open a store and so are you gonna be doing anything special for some of the holidays that are coming up yeah um, for Valentine especially um, this is going to be the first time where we're going to make like a heart shape um, oh, macarons um, we love doing all the creative fun things with macarons because it's the macarons regular is just you know, round shape, mm -hmm. but you can actually making a lot of different shape. Oh, and yeah. for Valentine's, we're going to try to make the heart shape and make like a macaron pop instead of a cake pop. So oh. this is a fun things for kids and you know for. Well, let's uh, try some of them. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to try the salted caramel lemon too? You want to try the lemon? I'm Which one do you want? Lemon. Okay, I'll try the salted caramel too. This is lemon. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. This is salted caramel. Lemon is salted caramel. This is the most popular um, salted caramel. How did we live before we had the flavor salted caramel? I don't know. Wasn't that just like last mm. year? When we saw a lot of salted caramel, we have a hard time oh. to keep up with that uh, because so many people just love salted caramel. This the is very filling good. in the middle, right? There's some sort of caramel filling That's in the middle? Filling. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's really good. Thank you. Mm. Very good. So you can taste that like the macarons is kind of melt in your mouth uh -huh. when you run into it. Yeah. Nice. So they mm -hmm. really do. They look like they'd be very crisp, but they're, they're very soft. Yeah, right, like crunchy and crumbly is, is what you would think, but not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first, the cookies itself, when you bake them, it's going to be crunchy. Mm -hmm. And then when you put the filling, you need to be refrigerated at least six hours before mm -hmm. you can eat them. Mm -hmm. So if you bake them and then you put the filling and then you eat it right then, it's going to be crunchy. It's not going to be married together, the filling and then the cookies. Oh, okay. So you have to be, you know, refrigerated at least six hours before you can have the nice um, texture. This is really great. Yeah, these are delicious. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And coming up next week from Ms. Patton uh, will be how to make your own hot chicken. Uh, the, the latest big trend in food in these parts. And it will include tips such as working with peppers and spicy ingredients. This, Chief among yeah. which, biggest <laughs> tip, is uh, keep them away from any membranal surfaces around your... <laughs> For example, if you're a character such as myself, um, working in a home kitchen, you'll frequently like remove your glasses and rub your eyes. Such a bad idea when you're working with hot chicken. 
You have some big news about hot chicken, right? Hot chicken, Joel's hot chicken opens January 26th. And, and I know a lot of y'all who go to Midnight Madness know how to do this. The first hundred people in line uh, will get free chicken for a year. Stop it. So a you know, year? So what is today? January 12th, it opens January 26th. So I mean, two weeks in a tent is not that bad. <laughs> Right, for hot chicken for a year. Yeah. Peach and speaking chicken, of that, Cochran and, and Tate's Creek. We had a couple of other Yes, we were just things. saying that we don't usually talk about sad news on our podcast here, but we do have a little sad news. A couple people locally that folks will have known who were mm -hmm. in the food business who have died in the past couple of weeks. One being a much beloved um, waitress who I absolutely remember from the Ramseys on High Street. Um, Nance Lean, Mama Gay Reed, a longtime employee of Ramsey's, um, uh, with a great attitude and a sharp wit and a great server, um, passed away. Rob Ramsey called us to tell us about yeah, that. Yeah, he had such nice things to say about it. Yes, her. And, yeah. Um, Jen Smith, our yes. colleague, recommended, and, and I think Rob said they might do this, that they bronze a tie in her oh. honor and hang it in her section where there's a sign that says, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. That sounds <laughs> And he good. said that people would come and wait to sit in her area. That's that they special. they didn't want to sit with other people, they wanted to sit where she was serving. So That's yeah, that special. says a lot about her. And also I saw the obituary for Jim Hunt, who was one of the founders of Hunt Brothers Pizza, which you may not be familiar with unless you happen to go to a convenience store on occasion because mm -hmm. lots of convenience stores in these parts and others have Hunt Brother Pizza Hunt stickers Brother pizza. and signs up. All toppings. In their windows. No extra charge. I uh, guess. See? Mean, for those of us who wow. drive around the state a lot, um, you'll be familiar and with Hunt Brother's Pizza. I, did, I had no stuff. idea until I read it and I was like, wow, I didn't know he was from Lexington. But I didn't he either. was, so we just wow. wanted to acknowledge both of them and the contributions they made to our community. Yeah. Well, uh, one other thing to mention, Thursday, Kroger's Click List is supposed to debut at the Richmond Road Kroger. Janet is very excited. I may excited. be first in line, I'm not sure. You With go online, <laughs> you <laughs> place your order, <laughs> you have to put a tent because you can schedule beauty. your video. That's, that's perfect. And um, see how it goes. So uh, get ready. I'm and sure Janet will be tweeting. A, a, yeah, she probably fit will. Full of groceries. It's okay. Just, just to show you how. Here's my creamer. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my fine. lettuce. Anyway. I think, especially this time of year, huge convenience for a lot of people oh, to yeah. have somebody go ahead and do it all for you. Just drive up, pick it up, and bring it home. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think it would I'll be you, I'll interesting you know exactly to see how well it does, but I can't imagine that it would be great. Yeah. That's all. Right. That's all. it. Yeah. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go.